Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, I'm back at the Grove section of the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And I'm out here because I have a client who's getting ready to close on this beautiful home built by a Perry right behind me. We're about two weeks out from closing, but that's a good time to do another video. Let's go check it out. Now, this is the exact same plan as the model home for Perry Homes at the Grove except for they've added another garage. This is actually gonna be a four car garage because in that two car garage bay, there is a tandem garage. So it's gonna be kind of neat. Um, a couple of vehicles in this cul-de-sac right now. So it looks a little crowded, but it's a beautiful, this can be a very quiet cul-de-sac once all said and done. That is a water retention pond for their hybrid septic system that's rather unique to the Grove section of Vintage Oaks. So they've got their own little water treatment plant here and that's the gray water, almost potable, but not quite, but it is treated so they don't have the mosquitoes. There's gonna be a large driveway. Like I said, they're about two weeks out. So they got some guys coming by in just a day or two to finish up this really huge driveway. But, and they're gonna be doing a little clean up work too as well. But gorgeous home, mentioned the septic, there's the two ports. And if you're thinking about buying in this community, don't freak out about septic. It just takes a little bit of maintenance. And you can actually hire people to come out and do that maintenance for you. But a beautiful brick, brick rock combination, nice little landscaping that's already been done by Perry and check out this beautiful door all right let's head on inside loving the technology in this house it does have a smart doorbell and a keypad just in case you don't want to pull your keys out all the time there you go all right right when you come into this house you can't but help but notice the beautiful tray ceilings in it there is some cleaning and some touch up work you need to still get done. They're gonna have the lights fixed for you, but this is your formal dining room area. You have this gorgeous wood looking tile throughout the whole main floor, tall baseboards. You do also have your own office set up right there with the beautiful French doors. Lots of lighting in here, two to four can lights and because, ooh, that's loud. because they built this house from dirt, they had an opportunity to go through a low voltage meeting from a third party. So they're able to pick out and put things like ethernet ports in this room. And that's gonna go a long way. A lot of technology to this house. And the ethernet hub will be located in the master bedroom bath. And we'll show you that a little bit later. That's just a closet right there, but you do have two bedrooms. Oops, they already turned lights off on one of them. At the front part of the house, good size rooms. With good size little mini closet, I mean good size closets. Love the fact there's eight foot doors throughout this house. Turn the bathroom light on. All right, and you see all they carry the floor through the bathroom. It's really nice bathroom for the public. And we've got a mirror of the room we were just in. Like I said, just a standard room. But what's not standard is this kitchen and the granite that they chose. I'm a big fan, if you're gonna splurge on something, splurge on the granite, and these guys did. Check this bad boy out. This is gorgeous granite. And they also, they don't have this thing beveled on the, this is a waterfall cut, but it stops, it's flat here, that way you can really see the width of the granite. You don't want it beveled on both on the bottom side because that will really 
when you look at it from a distance, it'll make the granite look thinner than it actually is. And if you're paying big money for gorgeous granite, you want to see that it's thick too. But this is a beautiful main living space. Lots of can lighting put in there. They do have the in-floor outlet. And one of the things that they did from that low voltage third-party company is have it pre-wired going from where you have a receiver set up there to where you can mount the TV and you're not going to have wires all over the place. What a gorgeous fireplace. I want to get a good look at that. My clients, they're still doing their uh, walk around of the house because they're getting ready to close in about two weeks. But let's go ahead and let's not forget about the rest of this kitchen because it's just beautiful. This is the, I believe the 3257 plan. Like I said, the same as the model at the Grove section of Vintage Oaks. But love this island, that granite looks so nice. It does have the soft closed doors, or drawers. This community is gas, so of course they've got the gas grill in there. I didn't turn that light on, but nice cabinets throughout. They got to pick out what colors they wanted at the design center. So they went with a dark brown. We do have the beautiful oven with the built-in microwave. More island space. You're not going to have any uh, shortage of space for storing stuff. And they also got the gorgeous granite seal sink, single basin, and carried it with a bronze look there. Uh, one of the favorite features, there's my clients outside right now. Well, this is just a nice feature. It is just a good little sunroom, breakfast nook area, whatever you want to do with it, because it's plenty big enough. We do have a utility room. Just kind of a standard utility room. Nothing real fancy about that. But this room is the one I really like in this plan. This bonus space they have, it is huge. You can make it into a game room, a kid's room. These guys have it pre-wired for speakers up top. So you can easily make this a really nice movie theater room. They've already got the cables movie theater room just to be able to close it off and watch whatever football game you want. I mentioned the technology, you're going to have your ethernet ports right there and some more additional ethernet ports. So a lot of technology already in, built into this house. You would just need to probably put a little, some blinds on there or some blackout curtains. But this is a really neat little X room. There's my boots. Uh, I don't like walking on someone's carpet that's brand new without taking my boots off. But there's a, there's a little bit more to this house. There's a special guest bedroom tucked away in the back. Or the, oh my gosh, my wife is snoring a lot room, so I'm gonna go sleep over here. Nice room. Once again, they've got it pre-wired where they can hide the, um, any wiring going from uh, whatever box they have to behind the TV that's get mounted. And this room has its own full bath. So perfect for those long-term guests, not only just for when the wife is snoring, but a beautiful little bathroom. And I love their tile selection they picked out. Lots and lots of windows. All right, let's go check out the outside. All right, they're still out there kind of doing their walk around, so you might hear some voices, but check out this outdoor living space, and it is tall. They do have some can lights in there, and it's pre-wired for a ceiling fan. Always recommend not having the builder put any extra fans in that aren't necessary because every builder is going to have their builder markup, so you can have someone else come in and put a fan in for a fraction. But they did get it pre-wired for TV, and uh, ethernet port outside. 
but this is a large lot on a cul-de-sac in the Grove section. Perfect for putting a pool, putting some more trees out there. Looks like we got a little rain shower coming through again, but this is absolutely beautiful. You can see that the gray water section back there I mentioned earlier in the video and the houses behind us here. This is the edge of the one acre section of Vintage Oaks. All right, let's head back inside and check out this owner suite. I uh, forget, I gotta go through and show the little butler pantry area before we finish up. But once again, tall, tall windows. Perry does build a very energy efficient house, so these are very energy efficient windows as well. So these windows, is gonna, they are gonna give the capability to lift up a little bit, flip these latches and fold the windows in so you can clean them without having to go outside. But super tall ceilings in here. There's eight foot doors, look how much space there still is. And I love the fact that they put in uh, windows that you can't see through, so you don't have to show off all your bits and pieces. A beautiful soaking tub. And they carry that same high end granite. I think this is like a level eight granite but it it really shows well got your makeup section little pull out drawer for it the shower it's a really nice shower definitely like how they got the carried on the bronze frame for the shower it's got the mud inset so a little step down versus having to step up and just beautiful tile work and of course the shelf I was joking, but not really joking. There has some extra tile that the builder's gonna leave there. I told him, I was like, hey, if I've got extra tile and looking for somewhere for that tile to go, I can take care of that because I would love to put this tile in my house. But you do have two different closets. One of them is gonna be a her closet because I'm sure she doesn't have a lot of clothes. So she can have the smaller closet right here and he gets the big closet. So he can put all of his shoes right there and a little more space there. So this closet's just a little bit bigger, not a lot bigger, but uh, perfect for him because he's got more shoes. All right, mentioned the technology area. This is a perfect place to put your modem. You can put little shelves in here. Uh, for your router, everything can get connected. So if you wanted to hardwire all those ethernet ports straight into your modem, I mean to your router, you can and uh, have it all connected. So it frees up some of your Wi-Fi because things like if you went with Apple TV, that's all can be hardwired in your office or yeah, you can have that hardwired ethernet cable going straight to your computer. All right, I wanted to still finish up. I didn't show that butler pantry, so let me go back through here and show that off a little bit because it's worth seeing. But just how wide that is, that's just really nice. Back to the breakfast nook area or sitting room. Just a beautiful granite. I know I've been talking a lot about the granite, but I really like it. All right, here's the pantry. Really nice size pantry. Ooh, I almost forgot. I definitely want to go out in the garage. You got a nice little butler pantry set up right here with the extra cabinets. And that goes back in the dining room where we first started. All right, we do have this little mud room. Perfect place for extra shoes hang some backpacks and the powder room right up front when you come into the garage. Speaking of which, let's go check out this garage. All right, this is a 
this plan normally is a three car garage where you just have the two doors and this is the tandem garage section. My clients are upstairs getting, inter getting told about the attic stuff and the AC stuff. So this house does come with a tankless water heater. It doesn't have a water circulator, so they might add that a little bit later just so it makes it instant hot. It is pre-plumbed for the water softener. And all this extra space, it's hard to find a production home with a four car garage, but this is it because he paid extra to get this third car bay put in. I see they're testing the sprinkler systems. All right, let's head back inside. Let's come around here and give you one last look of this whole area. Well, that's going to wrap up this beautiful Perry home tour. This is the 32, I think it's 57 plan. Like I said, the same as their model here at the Grove in Vintage Oaks. And I'm super excited for my client that's getting ready to close on it in two weeks. I think they are pretty excited as well. And if you're looking for a realtor that does videos like this for you, because they're going to have, be able to watch this video and share this with their friends. That's a really neat thing for them. But again, if you're looking for a realtor, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. I'll be happy to set up a Zoom meeting to get to know you a little better, because I'm happy to help, I'm trying to grow my business here. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and keep sharing with your friends. All right, take care now.